Yo, what's up everybody? My name is Haytham and you're watching gigablogging.com. So, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to not get scammed when buying when buying a second-hand laptop by fake CPU configuration. Before we begin, if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to smash the like button down below. And without being said, let's get started. For fresh content, subscribe, press the bell icon to never miss an update from geekblogging.com don't forget to follow me on instagram too first of all i'm going to show you the system properties before begin here as it shows you i have a core e3 fifth generation with 2 point with 2 gigahertz so let's start our let's start our tutorial first of all click on the button with the logo uh, Windows logo plus R type in rigid it and click on OK Then select this folder uh, Local machine and expand it with this button then go to hardware uh, Description system then central processor and uh, Select the folder with the number zero then search for processor names name string and double click on it and here you go this is my processor i'm going just to change this uh, number i'm going to make uh, i7 and in gigahertz i'm going to type in 3 and click on ok so now i'm going back to properties and i'm i will write on i will check it to uh, second time and as you can see the modifications are on it is i7 with 3 gigahertz uh, now the video isn't over yet some of you may have a question how why am i gonna detect this trick some of you may think uh, of dxdioc comment But as you can see, um, Diag Direct X Diagnostic Tool falls too for this trick. Uh, it's showing it is showing the processor as i7 with three gigahertz. How uh, so? We will download a software called CPU Z. It is so. It is the solution is simple. However, before continuing this video, I invite you to subscribe to my channel because nearly 90% of who watch my video aren't subscribed. So leave a like, uh, subscribe and comment if you didn't know this method before. Also, I made another uh, method previously on how to check a second hand phone if you're buying it from craigslist for example it is a full guide on how to, on how you can check it before uh, on how you can check your the phone before buying it so you don't get scammed so i invite you to check it out uh, by clicking on the button above at the top of the screen or uh, following the link in the description however in this video i only explained a simple trick some shops or scammer may use and there is plenty of so if you want me to fill a full guide on how to buy a second hand laptop click on the icon above and answer the question poll also i invite you guys to follow my new instagram account for some tech news there are a lot there will be a lot of, subs uh, of su surprises there so you don't want to miss it so let's go uh go to this link that you will find in the description box and uh download this uh, software i invite you to choose the uh, zip uh, version because uh, it is uh, a portable version you don't have to set it up and you will uh, only put it in a usb so and run it whenever you want to try any computer so I've already put it on my USB, so I'm just going to open it. After unzipping the, uh, this uh, file, 
you will end up with, with these two programs right here you can choose between uh, 32 bytes or 64 bytes my my computer is 64 so I'm going with the 64 version run it and as you can see it shows me the uh, the processor i3 2 gigabytes 2 gigahertz and in the properties it is still i7 so this is it guys if you want me to continue providing you with the best tutorials in a weekly basics show me your love and support by clicking the like button subscribe with notifications on and share this with your friends and leave some support comments peace out